Plus, and we talked about how to um, sort, change your sort order of the inbox. And in this lesson, I want to talk about how you can customize the columns that you're looking at in the inbox. So this procedure is pretty straightforward. What you can do is go to the view tab along the ribbon, and you actually have a couple ways to do this. There's a button here that says add columns, and that'll bring up the screen where you can add uh, the columns uh, into your view. Or if you wanted a little bit more detailed way of doing this, as well as a few other options, if you go to the view tab, you can choose view settings. And in here you can do columns as well as various other items which we'll talk about in upcoming videos. So if I click columns, it takes me to that same screen. As a quick example, let's say I wanted to add the CC um, column to the email. It adds it over, it's moved it to the bottom here. If I wanted to change the order, you can simply drag it where you want it to appear. So let's say I wanted it after or in between from and subject. You hit OK. OK one more time and it adds in the CC field. Now, if you want to remove it, you can remove it quite easily. You don't have to go through that whole same process. You can simply click and hold on a column, drag it down until an X appears. When you let go, it's gonna remove it from your view. One thing to keep in mind here is if you accidentally click and hold on a column and drag it down, and I get this a lot, this happens to people, to add it back in, all you have to do is go into your view settings, make the change there so you can add the column back in, or you can even click the reset view button. And if I say yes, it'll bring that column back in. Now, one thing to keep in mind using that reset view button is that other items you would have customized will also be lost. So if you simply dragged a column down and removed it, and you don't wanna lose any other customizations you've done, just add it back in the way we showed you here by going into columns and selecting the field and adding it back in.